Hey guys and welcome to another video. This time I want to show you a trick that will highly improve the visibility of your enemies in Call of Duty Warzone, especially in darker areas. First off I'll show you my general graphic settings. If your PC has performance issues you can turn down some of the texture detail level and the anti-aliasing level. Motion blur and film grain should always be disabled. Brightness I set it to 52 but this is also relative to your own monitor. If you need help with improving the performance of your game, don't forget to watch my other videos exactly on this topic. Now let's move on to the trick I wanted to show you. Unfortunately this is only available for the Nvidia graphic card users, so if you're on a console or using an AMD card, this is not going to be available for you. We start off by opening up the Nvidia GeForce Experience app. If you don't have this application installed with your Nvidia graphic drivers, you should visit the Nvidia website and install the latest version. The link is in the description down below. Once you open the GeForce Experience app, go to the settings and make sure that the in-game overlays is active. After you turn it on, click on its own settings. Move over to photo mode slash game filter and make sure this is active as well. Then go back and check the keyboard shortcuts. I changed my default keyboard binding so it's probably different on your computer. You should especially remember those for opening and closing the overlay as well as the game filter edit filter settings. I also found it useful to set a shortcut for enabling and disabling the filter so I set this to Alt plus F. Now that the in-game overlay is active, start up Warzone and once you reach the lobby open up the Nvidia in-game overlay or the game filter menu using the keyboard shortcut. It's enough if you sit in the lobby while we're setting it up so you don't actually need to start a battle royale game. In the game filter menu you are given three filters that you can apply in real time to your games. Now select the filter set and start by adding the details filter to it. Expand its settings and then by dragging the bars choose 42% for sharpen, 30% for clarity, 30% for HDR toning and finally set 7% for blooming. Ok now let's add the second filter. Select the contrast and brightness one. Expand it and choose minus 12 for exposure, 14% for contrast, leave the highlights as it is for now, minus 70% for shadows and finally 12% for gamma. A word of advice, the filters you are setting here will be applied to all of your games so make sure you turn them off if you see it ruining your experience in other games. Don't forget that you can disable the filters at any time by choosing the off options in the game filter menu or by using the keyboard shortcut if you set one. With the settings done, let's start the game and check the results. I suggest you go to darker areas such as the bunkers or inside buildings and check how the game looks like with the filters on and with them off. Also make sure that you are checking the outside areas while facing the sun so you can see the result in brighter areas. You can see sample of how this looks like on my screen but even in the video this could look a lot different to you based on the calibration of your monitor or TV. Actually since everybody has a different monitor and different calibration I encourage you to use the other two sets of filters to play around and see what fits best to your screen. If you find the game being too bright, you can turn down a bit the HDR toning setting or the exposure. Turning down blooming also helps with overly bright areas. From my experience, the shadow needs to be turned down as much as possible so that it lightens up the darker area. You can also try turning down the highlights for the same reason. One final thing I need to mention is that Nvidia Freestyle filters are filters that are applied to your game images in real time. This means that it takes a bit of processing power of your PC and this ultimately translates to a drop in FPS. In my case, this meant a drop of 10 to 15 frames when the filters were applied. This is a trade-off to seeing a little bit better in the game and you should decide for yourself if this is worth it or not. I use it in my case as it gives quite a bit of a help especially when fighting inside the buildings. This is it guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and you find this useful. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe, it means quite a lot to me. If you have any questions or topic you wish to cover, leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you. Stay frosty and see you on the battlefield.